can pronounce that name, that kid, Chicago R&B, says, solo MR is 2K, party MR 2.2K. Um, there's no point of just saying, wow, you're 2K, I shouldn't explain these mechanical abilities to you. I will ignore all the mechanical abilities of it, and just explain the theoretical period craft of the game. You look at this game, perhaps they should have won it. Huskar is fucking terrible. Lena fucking terrible. Sand King fucking terrible. Storm Spirit, fucking shitty build. I don't know how you fucking lost to that build. Sniper, pretty fed, but still a garbage hero. Wraith King, Shadow Shaman, Rubik, Ru with that kind of. A okay, I really don't know how you lost it. Let's find out where the shitters made shitty plays and hope to get better at it, so. So, Wraith King. Um, Wraith King's a unique kind of carry that you don't expect him to build just pure damage like you would, let's say, a, um, Ember Spare Daedalus. You don't expect Battle Fears on Wraith King's inherent carry power lies in his life steal ability, his crit ability, and his ability to tank a lot of damage. Not saying you should build Heart Vanguard, you should build, um, very tanky damage items. Armalit, Blink Dagger's fine, SNY, I'm not a big fan of. Assault Kiros is almost a core on that item. But let's take a look at what Wraith King is doing. Top is missing! Alright. Looks like they're dual laning against dual laning. Okay. Dyer's top tower oh. is under attack. Huskar sniper. I, I don't know how you guys lost. Okay. okay. Wraith King. Not last hitting properly. But like I said, we're avoiding the mechanics. Like they're 2k. I'd expect maybe Death's 10 out. CS or 15 CS by five minutes. So if he's already beating that, I'll be pr I'll be happy. Five minutes. How much CS does he have? Fifteen. Yeah, around that. Good job. A little bit better than what I was. No! Oh, great king. Oh, uh, not getting life steal, especially after the new change is a little peculiar. Like he's sitting on low HP, doesn't have mana to ult. He. Yeah, like, hmm, like as a carry, you shouldn't be trying to rotate too much. It's nice to TP, but you should be focusing on farming. Nevertheless, we're taking second of GPM at Rubik mid. Okay, kind of stupid. The Earth thanks you. Okay, Rubik's still winning mid. That's the sh funny part. Um, armlet um. Bottom Don't tower buy a, ever, ever buy a recipe first. Never ever buy. And if you ever want to buy a re uh, an item off Armlet or Mordigian, more digging, more digging, Armlet or Mordigian, you fucking Dyer's buy the Helm of Iron Will, the attack. 950 uh, armor Radiant's and bottom tower is under attack. It's the most uh, ergo efficient. And you never reveal what fucking you never reveal a recipe because that'll indicate the timing of how your farm is and what item you're going. Because if you want this glove of haste. It here. might be a Midas or anything. You never know. Bottom tower um, is under when you want to farm Wraith King, get an Iron Talon. Very simple. See, you're, this isn't efficient farming at all. You're just losing that. Um, Sniper's farming pretty well, actually, at this point. Wraith King That's fighting. Cool. Fighting is fine on Wraith King, especially. Just because that hero is just inherently just so scary. Let's see. He went Armlet. Good first item. Blink dagger. All right, I I'm I'm down for the build. I'm perfectly down for the build. Um, aim to have a little bit more mana. Okay. Going maelstrom next. Not the biggest fan. You don't need maelstrom, especially against Huskar, who takes reduced damage. You want to get a basher or something to deal with sniper. Blink dagger is perfectly fine. It's just why a maelstrom? Like you're you're wraith king. You don't need to farm. Like. Radiance top tower has fallen. Now uh, you want to armlet toggle because caustic might kill you. Um, I don't agree with the maelstrom. I, I've never liked that item on that hero. But let's see, basher. All right, should have gone for basher first instead of maelstrom. If not BKB, BKB completely understandable. Oh, this farm's a little underwhelming at this point. Like, he's going for a Maelstrom after Basher, not a BKB. Why would you not get BKB against Lena, and Sanking, and Storm against Sniper? Like, Maelstrom isn't gonna do jack shit for you this game. Sorry, bro. But you'd still, if it's not going in. 
you really wanted to go greedy in a build that was somewhat understandable, you would go uh, Soul Kuros, not the only. Um, Cheap Stick on Raging is a bad too, alright. So, that should be an Assault Kuros, and you should have a BKB at this point. Going for BKB. So, I mean, your items aren't bad. It's just that you're getting them in the wrong order at just such a late time, and you're like letting Sniper get to the point where. Like, he's just so big, you can't even deal with that anymore. Like, you have to deal with Sniper early. And no matter how garbage that shit hero is, you know? You still have the second highest GPM, that's the funny part. A long game, how many racks we're taking? One rack, one rack. Alright, actually, let's see what was BKB. Okay. Okay. Alright, so this point, pushing the lane is understandable. At the same time, should be trying to pick off. Hero after hero. See, at this point, they're all off the map for you, so you shouldn't be farming alone. Well, you have an idea that they are at base. Storm, Spirit, and San um, Sand King and Sniper are enough to kill you. Um. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the Maelstrom at all. I'm really not a fan of the Maelstrom. You have no intelligence. God, like, all you need to do, blink in on Sniper, kill him. With like an Assault or an MKB or something like that. All you have to do is blink on him, BKB, and kill him. So that's just really? happening. And like, you BKBing too late, no. you go on the Husk, a uh, 0 10 Husk yeah. for some reason. And this is how Sniper is allowed to kill you, because he's just literally standing back. Urshaker has the right play. But at this point, like, you have to go for it. Like, yeah, fine, Storm's fine. But, like, now, Storm's not even the problem. It's Sniper is, is your huge biggest late game threat. You know? Like, you see how squishy that fucking hero is? <laughs> Wait, hold the phone. How'd you lose that? <laughs> no man, that was crap. Well, that's that's all. That's entirely on you not having mana. So. Held your feet to the fire. That's fine. Just maelstrom's fucking shit of an item. No, yeah, so not having mana's on you. Get rid of that fucking maelstrom. It's fucking garbage item. And at this point, blink. I would say is a shit item, but you want to get to sniper. Yeah, um, blink. You kind of need to be honest. Seven second BKB. Like you should be using it. BKB should not be at seven seconds in a sixty minute game at this point. I think you lose because they get Roshan. See how they're gonna push. Dyer's middle barracks have fallen. Your team gets caught. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. It's not even. It's, it's just poor positioning. Like, why are you going for Lena? Really? Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. This makes no sense. Dyer's bottom Why? barracks are away. under attack. Like. Yeah, as a carry, yeah, there is the option of going for the easy kills, but in a team fight, you always go for cores. When you're ganking, you can fucking kill the supports, but in a team fight, you always go for the fucking this core, this hero right here. And I think it, that just comes down to end game knowledge, priority farming, and just uh, priority targeting, and just improper items, to be honest. So, yeah, there you go. Hope you enjoyed that.